Hey guys, Mate from The Great Outdoors RV. Today I wanna to talk about how to spot an RV that's a lemon, one that you don't wanna purchase, what to look for, and things that are gonna be costly to repair versus things that are easy to repair. And I wanna show you some examples of those too, so let's go right to it. One way to avoid knowing if you're gonna buy a lemon is to know who you're dealing with. With a dealer, that's pretty easy because you can see what their online reviews are, whereas a private seller, that can be hit or miss. One of the benefits of buying from a dealership is one, you'll know what our reputation is based on online reviews. Two, we have technicians that do a full pre-delivery inspection of the camper before you buy it. Now that we've talked about buyer beware type stuff, let's go talk about when you physically are at the camper and looking at it, what to look for. Let's go. Okay, it all starts on the roof. As you can see, this roof membrane is completely worthless. So this could be a way that you can rule out a coach very easily uh, to see if they've maintained this because even a little spot gets opened up and water can ruin the entire coach from there because it's about seven plus thousand dollars to repair a rubber roof membrane depending on the length of the coach. Another thing that you can look for is any kind of voids or cracks in the sealant around the vents or the skylights because what happened is water gets in there and then it can shoot off to anywhere else in the coach and uh, rot out the entire roof. Do not get on a roof that doesn't have a roof ladder because that means there's a good chance that that roof is not a walkable roof. Once you're up here though and you've made sure there's no rocks in your shoes, one of the places that you want to check are these corners. So you want to slowly, easily make sure that they, these corners are not um, really soft, especially around any kind of vents or anything like that. Um, and then there are roof trusses. So like if I were to step right here, I could potentially fall through there if that was, uh, ooh, right there. Uh, you, can, you could fall right through this if you're not careful. So be careful while you're up here. While you're up on the roof, you also want to check the back of the air conditioner. If these fins are all bent up, that means it's probably been in a hailstorm and therefore the AC isn't going to work nearly as efficiently. That means it can freeze up a lot easier when it's on a super hot day and it's just constantly running. Another thing that you need to check is your vent lids. A lot of times in hailstorms, like we have a lot in Colorado here, these can get cracked and have holes punctured into them. And that, of course, is a disaster for campers getting water into the coach. Make sure you look up when you are inside the coach. This is an example of one that has leaked all over the place. So anywhere where there was a nail stuck into the seam, you can see where it's um, stained the wall. And of course, this is a huge stain right around. The lights are going to be horrible. And then if you look over here, this is where this is completely rotted out because of um, the water just coming through the vent lid right there. Another thing you want to do is open up the cabinets and just make sure that the side walls and the front is all nice and tight, that there hasn't been any water damage so could, because some, sometimes that is uh, hiding inside the, the cabinets, especially in the corners and on the sides. Another thing that you might see in used campers is where this wallpaper is starting to peel away and uh, come delaminate from the wall itself. What you want to do is kind of knock on that area to see if it's solid. If it's solid, then you're probably okay. The wallpaper, what happens is uh, the glue fails on it and it, in the heat, it uh, just comes off. But that can also be where water ran down and the glue failed because of water damage. So if you knock on it, that'll tell you if, if it's one or the other. Over here is an example. This piece of trim popped off, most likely because the nails didn't hold it in, would be my guess. But as I press in here, I can tell that this is really soft right here. So that is a problem where not only is the paper kind of coming off from the uh, wall, but um, there's, there's some leak going on either previously or 
currently, which is something that you'd want to avoid or be addressed. This is an example of where you would need to check on the walls to see how they're doing. If you, if you look over here, um, there, this is expanded wood right here. And so as I push up, you can kind of see it's pushed down. That screw has probably failed and not holding anymore. And so that's a good chance that uh, some water got into there and has rotted out that wood. One way to check to see if there's been any leaks in the coach is this insert is usually like a rubber type of insert. As you can see, all these screws right here, those are all normal. There's no rust on them. You're good to go. And then if you look up here, you'll notice that these, a few of them are normal and then you have a rusty one. And then if you look closer to the corner back here, uh, a little bit further back, you'll notice all these are rusted out. Uh, that means, of course, that water has gotten inside those somehow, some way, and that should probably be a, a warning side for you to have to check out the coach a little bit closer. As far as the floor goes, on the inside, you want to kind of push around, especially right around the sink area and around the bathroom area to make sure there's no soft spots. Also around the vents, that can be another place that it kind of gives away. The reason why you want to check around the kitchen and the bathroom is because, of course, that's where the shower could possibly leak, the toilet could possibly leak. You could even have this vent up here accidentally opened for maybe while it's in storage, and that could have leaked leaked onto the floor as well as any other vent in the entire coach. Another thing that you want to make sure is your refrigerator is working. Uh, what happens to refrigerators a lot of times is uh, if they're not working and you have to replace the refrigerator, that's two grand out of your pocket all of a sudden, especially if it's a nice gas electric refrigerator. Uh, you also want to smell and see if you smell any kind of uh, mold or ammonia. Uh, the ammonia is super bad because mold's just gross and it's hard to get out. The ammonia is bad because that means the cooling unit is bad. Uh, or if you see yellow uh, stuff, like almost like a liquid or a powder like inside the deal and it will be super strong usually, that means the cooling unit's bad. You're out another thousand bucks just to get a cooling unit a lot of times. Another thing that you want to check for is the refrigerator right behind there. So you can see this has the spot for the fridge to drain. So all refrigerators that are gas electric fridges uh, have a drain spot. And these can you can turn with a penny or a key or whatever to turn these uh, so that you can undo this deal here. Some people, uh, when they took this off last, they um, pushed this in. See how I'm having to push this in to get it out? And then they leave it just like this. And what happens is this whole area can rot out because they didn't pull this back through the vent. So that's another thing to check if, if you don't see that. Another thing that you want to check is underneath the coach and see what that looks like. Uh, one, to see if it has a fully enclosed underbelly for reasons of um, maybe if you want to stay in it a little bit longer during the season, but two, uh, just to see what the rust looks like. Now, a little bit of rust, no big deal. However, if you see one with excessive rust, that could be where there's a problem either by the leaf springs or on the axle. Uh, now, if you see a pipe that's your propane line uh, that's rusted, that's actually pretty normal to have that rusted out. Another thing to check is the water heater. So you want to take this outside part right here off and then look at the, the, this part right here. If this is expanded out or bulged out, that could mean that the water heater is not working where it has frozen and the ice, because ice expands, has pushed it out and there's usually a crack and the water heater will not work and it will leak into your coach. This is an aluminum sided camper and this is a fiberglass sided camper. So on the aluminum you don't have to worry about this, but on fiberglass what you want to check for is any kind of bubbles or where the wall is actually starting to separate from the camper itself. That can be start off as just a cosmetic issue. It can also be a tail sign that you've had some water damage coming down the side of the coach and then eventually that bubble is going to keep expanding until it gets to an edge and by the time that happens that wall can just completely rip off. One other thing that you want to check is the tires. So if usually you'll run out of sidewall well before you run out of tread. Uh, so you want to look for any kind of cracking. So this is bad right here. If you see cracking along here, that means this tire is probably not one that you would want to drive on, uh, especially at any type of high mileage or long distance. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Let me know if you think of something else that I didn't hit on that maybe you experienced. 
uh, buying a camper and man, if only I would have known to look for this, I wouldn't have bought it. Let us know because that way we'll learn from your lesson hopefully. And if you like the video, please hit the like button or the subscribe button if you want to see all of our videos. And we do a 300 point inspection on all the campers that come through our dealership. One, to protect our reputation. Two, to make sure that the customer is happy. And three, to make sure that there's some value associated to what you're buying. The Great Outdoors RV is located in Evans, Colorado. We're just the southeast side of Greeley, right on Highway 85, about an hour north of Denver. Our address is 3511 West Service Road, Evans, Colorado, 80620. Our phone number is 970-339-1997. And our web address is www.thegreatoutdoorsrv.com.